we're we live. We live again. Because you're not, uh, you don't sound so laggy anymore as you used to. Like the so robot. Wait, I started stuff. lagging for you. Yeah, like the call, like it was oh. also robot calling, like you and plant. I couldn't even tell. Hmm. Like it my and was it like if someone is like have bad, bad internet like the stream and everything was everything was done but now everything is okay it sounds much clear hmm well maybe my internet was dropping for a little bit all right well stream looks like it's working now get a Doug Drio for the crits actually I have Doug Drio. So, um, he was originally meant to just use cut and dig against, uh, Lieutenant Surge. Alright, just as I drop frames again for some reason. I think right now it's safe for me to say that the goal for 3DS Capture Board has been met. I just need to, I just need to put my resources towards a reliable source for the Capture Board, for both me and Ellie. Alright, if I drop past a thousand frames, then that means we still have a problem. Yeah, you sound weird as a, like, um, robot, robot-like, but I am going to bed soon. It's almost, it is already 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I forgot about time zones being a thing. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's already 8 o'clock for me. I streamed my friggin' day away. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but... Uh, the time Rini, just went. Rini Pink asks all three of us, so what was your first shiny Pokemon? Gulpin. I think my first legit shiny Pokemon that I ever got was Piloswan. Well, that, I'm sorry, that I ran into, like, but I accidentally killed it. By me, was it a Rayquaza? I, I was playing, like, one of my friends went to the bathroom and was like, hey, can you level grind for me for a little bit? And I was like, alright. And he just game because his his Game Boy Advance SP was charging, and he didn't want to take it off the charger. It's like, hey, can you grind for me a little bit? And I was like, all right. So I was going through Rock Tunnel. As soon as he comes back, like the second Pokemon he ran into was a shiny Zubat. But then on my own game on Ruby, I found a shiny Gulp, and it was my first shiny on Ruby Sapphire or Emerald. I think other than that, I had a shiny Haunter. Lapras and Diamond. I actually found I found a shiny Ponyta right after I caught a regular Ponyta. Yeah, but my first shiny Pokemon was a Rayquaza, and I don't know how I did that. Blob, this is Louisiana. What about this being Louisiana? <laughs> Who asked? Who said? Who knew? How come? <laughs> oh yeah, Kangaskhan. Really wish I had Brick Break or something for you. Cause you're annoying. Jacob, who shut up? I've done nothing to you. <laughs> <sighs> I know you're tired. Now and then you're bad and you do something wrong and me and your older brother need to punish you, but that's it. You deserved every spanking you've gotten. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I swear, one time I spanked him and threw him headfirst into the pool. I don't want to leave on this earth anymore. Well, I didn't throw him, I pushed him. I don't care. I don't want to Actually, live on wait. this world. I don't think that was you, Jake. I think, I think that was Tyler that I threw in the pool. Ellie, please. You know I can't I don't live want... on... Ellie, you know I can't I live don't... on... You know I can't live on this planet without you. Aw, but... he's so sweet. But not if I hear <laughs> shit like that. I, I'm, I'm being dead ass. All I said was I threw a friend into a pool. I don't care. <laughs> I threw a friend into a four-foot pool, and he's five foot. What's the problem? You could maybe catch him. In water? Okay, here, here's the thing about anyone in the South, okay? 
<laughs> if you get pushed backwards, you've got even more time. But if you get pushed forward, like literally you go, oh man, I'm about to fall in the pool. I better do some <gasps> sploosh. Yeah. Come up. <sighs> Jerk. That's it. That's yeah. as far as it could possibly go. That's the remember, worst it could be. I remember one time, uh, we, when I was, when I was, uh, in Florida, in Disney World, doing, uh, performances for Disney with my school, a friend of mine thought it was a good idea to dunk me in the water, and it was like, what, six feet? Dunking you in the water? Yeah, like, I got dunked. Like, I got picked up and I was dunked. Now, if you can't swim... Yeah, I can't. If you can't swim, being dunked under the water when you're not tall enough, that ain't cool. Yeah, it's not cool. It wasn't. I can <laughs> swim. I can I know swim. You, I know you can swim. I need you to teach me. <laughs> like, please. Yeah, but by us, in the school, by us in school, it was. Like, it, you must Look, learn swimming. You, you know what? Actually, you know what I had to do once? <laughs> so, the older kids were trying to teach me a lesson. So, the pool ranged from three and a half feet all the way to like eight feet. And like it just got deeper as you went. And I didn't want to go in the kiddie pool. I didn't pass the swim test. So they didn't let me. I didn't know that they wanted me to stay above the water. I didn't know that the goal was, hey, get from point A to point B, but keep your head above the water the whole time. So I was swimming and I would come up for air and get back under and come up for air and go under. They didn't like that. And they didn't want to give me a second chance because they didn't trust me. And I was like, all right. So uh, I don't want to go in the sprinklers in the six inch pool, I'm not having that. If we're gonna come here on a mandatory field trip during summer camp, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I have nowhere to go during the day, so I have to come here. If you make me go in that, in that kiddie pool, it's going down. And they let me go in the pool, but I could only stay on the shallow side I freaking took one of those noodles and floated all the way to the deep end and the kids took the noodle from me and threw it to the shallow end and said go get it. So I got under the water and swam underwater all the way across the pool until my feet touched the floor and I stood up. And then I turned back and looked around I'm like my noodle floated all the way back over here. They, man, <laughs> I just went and got dressed. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired of this. <laughs> Just because I'm an underwater swimmer, everyone wanted to make fun of me. But that's the thing. They knew that I was going to get in trouble if the kids saw me. I I'm sorry, if the chaperone saw me. But with them, it was just like, hey. And they thought that was okay. How? Because they knew I could swim underwater back to the shallow end. Because, like, I could, like, I was an underwater swimmer, meaning, like, I didn't like, I, I hate that. That's so boring. Like, I'll sit here like this, and if I want to start swimming, I'll go under. Like, the only time I will ever go under, like, granted I can't swim yet, but the only time I will ever go under is if I'm wearing a mask. Like, that is the only time you'll ever catch me under. Oh, I, I have to now because of my contacts, but when I was younger, I I didn't have my contacts. I just had glasses. I took them off and opened my eyes underwater. I didn't need goggles. Only reason I need them now is because the freaking water will wash the contacts out of my eyes. Yeah. Or burn my contacts. <laughs> One or the other. Which is understandable. It's like, I, I, think, I think Ellie's the only one at this point who can teach me how to swim. Yeah, you self-scope. That, that is Ellie is still long to teach me how. Uh, it's a good thing I know what I'm doing because, like, when I was younger, I got lost so many times because I didn't know you had to pick up certain items. And 
it doesn't tell you what the items are. You have to pick them up. And it'll say, oh, no room for items. But yeah. Swimming's fun when you're actually allowed in the big pool as a child. I got scared because I almost like was drawing um, in the water. I was really scared from big pools. Like I was like I don't know try uh, swimming like I was learning, and I don't know like one of my muscles or like one of my legs didn't move anymore and I stopped and I was actually literally drowning in the water. Oh, yes. Yep, That's and I was awesome. so. I was so scared that I didn't want it to learn anymore. But I, I had to I learn. I about it and I say oops now because you're still here. But that, how I learned to swim for real, my cousins would throw me in our pool. And th like this was before I was tall enough to just stand in it. So instead of me getting in on my own leisure, they were just like, hey. You want to learn how to swim? And I was like, yeah. They're like, you want to know how I learn? Like, how? And they would pick me up by the trunks and pull me forward and just like, they're holding like almost wedgie style. They would hold my trunks up and just hold me by the chest. Take me, sh throw me in. They just throw me right in. Wow. I mean, I'm only 50, 60 pounds at the time. I'm a kid. <laughs> That's garbage. Hey, that's how you learn. That's not not me. Hey, listen, listen. Navi. <laughs> no, 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 no. Real talk, because I don't know how kids this generation are, but at the time, here's the real logic in the part that makes sense. And if you don't think it makes sense, screw you. How do you learn to swim? By wanting to swim. Or needing to swim. Mm. If you're just thrown into the deep end, you need to learn how to swim. So you'll learn because you need to, not because you want to. But then, once you learn because you needed to, you'll be able to swim because you want to. Like, I'd rather not. All I'd you need to not... know, all you need to know, is kicking this. Like, kick your legs and do this. That's all you like, gotta do. But like, I'd rather not suddenly have to. I'd rather not suddenly be able to know how to swim at the expense of my own life. But well, that's um, just me. Well, should should I say how you swim? You you think that, but after it's all said and done, you would have appreciated it. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing. If I was underwater for more than 10 seconds and I never came up for air, you're not going to die in 10, 15 seconds. And my cousins would have jumped in and brought me up. I learned from my cousins the same way as they learned from their dads, which, oops, I didn't have. <laughs> so... Oh, oh, right. I, I so I had to learn from the cousins. <laughs> so, Actor Eddie, like, you know how a frog is swimming, right? Fork? Wait. A frog. Oh, frog. For a second, yeah. I thought you said orca. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, I would love to swim like an orca. <laughs> Yo, you, know, you, you know, you know, to, uh, you know how a frog is like swimming, right? That's basically how you how you it. how you swim. That's basically but, it. Yeah, but it's basically how you swim. Well, to an extent, I I kick instead of. I don't like push like inwards. Like I literally just my shorts fell down whenever I stood up like that. I literally kick like this. This is how you swim. <laughs> yeah, I learned different like vertical before. and horizontal. You just kick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I learned how to swim on my back like a frog and butterfly. Oh. Like I need to learn hardcore. 
No, just do that crawling like a dog. All you no, I, do, need, I need to all learn. All you gotta do is cup your hands and swing your arms and kick your feet, and you know how to swim. <laughs> well, that's granted I can stay afloat. But you don't know until you get thrown into the pool and you're forced to do those two things. Because here's the thing. Instinct takes over. Mm. Your, you, your brain doesn't go, how do I do this? What do I do? Your brain goes... If I don't live, I'm going to die. If I, if I don't live, I'm going to die. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's, no, that's what your brain thinks. That's your instinct. If I don't live, I'm going to die. I want to live at any cost, and holy crap, I'm floating. Like, that's what's like, going to happen. That's how you, that's what happens. I'm not even, I, I knew what I was saying as I was saying. It actually took me a second to think of it that way. Mm -hmm. I knew what I was saying. That, Should I say what's actually funny? If you don't live, anyway, if I don't live, I'm going to die. I want to live so I don't die. Holy crap, I'm floating. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, um, what is actually funny? Like, if your parents or their mother give you birth, like, or birth, like, in a water pool, you actually start swimming already. Wait, I've never heard of this. Because yeah. actually you live all the time in the water and if you give like and your mama's give birth like in water and like have like you're, baby you're, school for you swimming. Don't, you don't know you're thinking it because you're an infant and your brain hasn't even developed a second, but immediately instinct takes over is like I'm tired of this liquid <laughs> So you act to any swimming science birth if your parents keep like school swimming for babies. So what you're saying is everyone knows how to swim just in our day in our time and ages that we haven't actually been in the water we've just forgotten pretty much if you don't if your parents don't keep it uh, learning like if your parents like do baby swim classes you actually keep going with swimming but if they don't you forget actually you know how to swim you just gotta get thrown in the water fam <laughs> That's not how I want to learn. You just got to get thrown. I, hey, that's not how I wanted to learn either. But once I found out that that's how you learn, I was like, hey, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Donald. Thanks, EJ. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, thank you. But fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> do you want to swim or not? <laughs> Actor Ellie, Brandon, you know how to swim. You just need to learn again. <laughs> yeah, and, and I need you to teach me. Just swim like a frog. No, I need you to legit teach me how to swim. So I swim, actor. Will, e like... will you legit teach me how to swim? I can show you how, but... All right. <laughs> All right. Mr. Brandon, you have two options with me. Either A, we get in the short end and we walk to the deep end and you don't stop until you touch the edge. <sighs> or I just push you in on the edge. <laughs> Those are your two options. And if, if option A doesn't work after about 30 minutes, we're going with option B. And it's going to take about one to five times before option B works. Man, Blau wants to kill me. <laughs> no, I'm, but here's the thing. The thing is with an actual deep end, there's a not so deep end. So if I push you in on the deep end and you're like, I'm not going to be able to stay afloat. You swim your ass to the shallow end. And then you stand. <sighs> You can't stay above water, stay underwater and get to that shallow end. You'll have goggles. I won't take your goggles away, that'd be cruel. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I took swimming classes too. They didn't teach me how to swim. They taught me how to be annoyed. <laughs> they, they only taught me how to do a swimming contest. And how I hit, oh, and how I hit my head at the um, edge of somewhere really badly because I was on my back and swimming and didn't saw anything when I hit my head at that. Oh, blah, greater than all my teachers. I mean, hey, I learned what you need to learn. <laughs> Hello, do you you act like we're not here? You act like we're not here too. You're whining about not being able to swim and not taking my advice. Who me? Yes, you. No, no, no! I'm saying Holadu saying, "Am I the only mod here?" And I'm telling uh, him, "You act like we're not. You act, you act like me and Ellie aren't here." 
I, I was referring, I thought you were referring to the fact that someone's like, blah, greater than all my teachers. I thought no. you were getting jealous for a second, like, hey. No, 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 no. We're no, here. No. We're better than your teachers. <laughs> hmm. Double edge. Nah. Try attack. Mm. I don't like, want to go and deposit this yet. It's like, we're the, we're the best. Well, I'm not going to say we're the best at giving advice. I'm going to say we give pretty good advice. It's up to everyone else whether or not they want to take it. I'd like to, I'd like to think we're good at that. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'd like to think we're good at giving good advice to people who need it. I'm really good at being really good. Because, because, I'm, because we actually care for you guys. I'm the best. <laughs> anyway. I'm better than you. Shut up! <laughs> you know what? You it can't is... even let me make my reference, you jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm better it's... than you. Nana nana boo boo. Is... Stick your head in doo doo. It is 3 a.m. I'm going to bed. Night night, Ellie. Love you. What the heck? Night night, everybody. <laughs> what the nice. heck? Night night, everybody. <laughs> only Because only I can say it. <laughs> No, you say I love you. I say I love you. That's the same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Good night. I love you has emotion and power and meaning behind it. I love you means right. you're my friend and I don't know what else to say besides goodbye and I don't want to be boring. Right. Okay. <laughs> we'll roll with it. Hey, if I say it to you when you leave, are you going to think that it had the same meaning or nah? Probably not. You're right. Okay. There we go. Oh, 